An Amelia mother begging for justice for her son. Tonight, the sheriff's office making an arrest in connection to his death. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. Deanna is off tonight. This teenager's death was originally reported as a self-inflicted incident, but tonight, authorities have arrested a 17-year-old suspect. 8 News reporter Devon Reynolds has the chance to talk with the victim's mom tonight. He's live in the Digital Center with more. Devon, good evening. Well, Eric, Jennifer Wallace has maintained from the beginning that her son, Lucas Hanna, who had grown up in a hunting family, had not shot himself. And tonight we are finding out she may have been right after her son's close friend has been arrested in connection to this shooting. And ironically, I previously spoke to this friend myself. I, I try to act strong around others, but, you know, I cry a lot. Jennifer Wallace was home last night when she received a knock on her door and I opened it and it was two deputies. They wanted to talk with her about her son, Lucas Hanna, who died weeks ago from what was reportedly a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the shoulder, a theory Wallace never believed. Officers went on to tell Wallace that her son's 17 year old friend has been arrested. When they told me that he had just been arrested, the friend, um, I just relief like I've just wanted justice for him since day one. Earlier this month, 8 News reported that Wallace had dropped her son off the night of July 2nd at his friend's house. Amelia County Sheriff's received a call not long after that at 944 PM stating the 16 year old has suffered an accidental gunshot wound. Now deputies arrived and tried to treat Hannah, but he died from his injuries. Wallace suspected there was more to the story. A mother knows their child. Well, it was just a few weeks ago when I spoke to the suspect one on one who's now in custody for the shooting, and he told me that Lucas Hanna had shot himself in the shoulder. Now, the teen who told me that account has been arrested in connection with the shooting death of Lucas Hanna and charged with voluntary manslaughter, among other accounts. This was a good friend of his, so not only did my son lose his life, but now this boy ruined his life, you know, over something that could have been prevented, you know. I just trust that justice is going to be served. Now, questions still remain about what led to Hannah being shot and where the weapon came from. The sheriff's department says the investigation is still ongoing. Live in the Digital Center, Demond Reynolds, 8 News. All right.